Hello, this is graph lesson one. In this, I will discuss graphs of functions and inequality. My first graph would be x is equals to four. Now, let's make the axis. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Now, x is four. It means that whatever will be the value of y or some x will always be equals to four. So this is the line of x is equals to four. Now this line will cut the x-axis at four zero. When x is four, the y will be zero. X could be x is four, y could be one, but x is four. So this is straight line, and you know that line has an infinite length. So this is the graph of line x is equals to four. The value of x is always four, whatever be the value of y. Y could be zero, one, two point one, point two point three, but the value of x will remain four. Now this is the graph of x is equals to four. But if I want to draw the graph of x greater than four, now what will the graph of this? Now when I need to draw the graph of x greater than four, it means this area, this complete region, uh, or this complete region will be the area when I say that x is more than four. It means that for entire area till infinity, entire area after this. till infinity will be the area of x is greater than 4 so x equals to 4 will be a straight line x greater than 4 be, will be entire area after the line or you can say that on the right side of the line x is equals to 4 remember that line has a infinite length so infinite area will come on the right side of the line x is equals to 4 so that will be the area of x greater than 4 Next line is y is equals to minus two. Now this is x-axis. This is y-axis. Now this is y is equals to minus two. This line is equals to y is equals to minus two. This line will cut the y-axis at zero minus two. The x will be zero. Y will be minus two. Now x could be one, and still y will be minus two. X could be minus one, still y will be minus two. So each and every point on this line, the value of y will be minus two, whatever be the value of x. So this is the line. Of y is equals to minus two, but if you want to draw y greater than minus two, y greater than minus two, this is the. It means that y should be more than minus two. This complete area, this complete region till infinity will be y greater than minus two. This brown, this brown is part is y greater than minus two, but if The option comes like this: y less than minus two, then it will be below this line. So when I say that y greater than minus two, this is the brown area. This complete, this complete region, this complete area. I'm just shading. This is over on the top of the line. But when I say the y less than minus two, this will be the area below the line. It means that for each this red part, in each and every point on this red part. The value of y is definitely less than minus two because on the line the value of y is minus two. Below the line, the value of y will further decrease and it will be less than minus two, whatever be the value of x. Next is the graph of y is equals to mod x. How to draw the graph of y is equals to mod x? Now mod x means negative positive value. Both will be equal to positive. Now how to graph the? Uh, how to draw the graph? X zero. So y will be equal to your zero. X is zero. Y zero. X plus minus one. Whether x is one, whether x is minus one, the value of y will be one because mod in mod the value is always positive. Minus one of mod is also one. One mod is also one. It means that when x is one, y is one. When x is minus one, even then the y is one. Same way, if you put x is equals to plus minus two, the value of y will be two. It means that x is two, the y is two. Even x is minus two, then y is two. So the graph will be like this. This is the graph of y is equals to mod x in a V shape. The graph of y is equals to mod x will be in the shape of V shape. So that is the graph of y is equals to mod x. Important thing to understand is that the mod value is always positive. Whatever be the value of x output, that is the value of y will always be positive. Now, if you want to calculate domain of this domain, mid valid input domain will be all real numbers. 
or you can say that minus infinity to infinity what will be the range of this function y is equals to mode range will will be positive numbers that is 0 to infinity 0 will be included because if you put x is equals to 0 y will become 0 but range will will be from 0 to infinity no negative value or range will come in, in no negative value will will come in the range range means output the value of y next is greatest integer function what it means it means that the greatest integer less than equals to x for example if i say 2.2 .2, now 2.2 .2 greatest integer function if you apply it means that the largest integer or you can say that greatest integer but it should be less than 2.2 .2. so less than 2.2 .2, there are so many integers 2 1 0 but we need the largest so largest integer less than 2.2 .2 is equals to 2 so that is the value of greatest integer 2.9 again the largest integer but it should be less than equals to 2.9 but if we put equals to 2.9 it will won't be integer output of this function is always integer when i say the greatest integer it means the greatest integer we need to find less than equals to x so 2.9 means again it's 2 even 2.99 this is equals to 2 what about this 3 3 will remain 3 greatest integer less than equals to 3 equal to, to 3 is also valid 3.0001 again this is equals to 3 9.9999 this is equals to 9 greatest integer less than equals to the given number so 9.999 number the greatest integer the largest integer but it should be less than 9.99 this is equals to 9 what if this come like minus point zero zero one? Now the, the we need my answer would be integer less than point zero zero one. Nearest integer, it should be minus one. Minus two point three zero four. Can I say this is equals to minus three? So that is the meaning of greatest integer function. Now how the graph will be formed, we'll explain you in the next slide. Now I'm making the graph of y is equals to mode x. Now between 0 and 1, between 0 and 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, whatever be the value of x, the value of y will be 0. Greatest integer less than equals to x. So 0 to uh, 0.999, the value of greatest integer function x would be 0. Greatest integer, but it should be less than 0 0.9, less than 0 0.8, it should be 0. So value will be 0 in this range. I am just making the, this brown part. But whenever the x is 1, this will be equals to 1. At x is equals to 1, the value is 1. And for 1 to 2 again, the value will be 1. 1 1.1, 1 1.2. If you put uh, x is equals to 1.2, the value of y would be how much? The y would be 1. If you put 1.8, the value of x. Greatest integer less than 1.8 would be 1. So whatever be the 1 to 1.2, the value will be 1. So this is like this but at 2 x2 the value will be 2 and again between 2 and 3 the value will equals be 2 again between 2 and 3 let me make this uh, this is equals this is 3 again between 2 and 3 the value will be 2 for entire thing 2 to 3 in between except 3 so 2 to 3 the value would be 3 but at x is equals to 3 x is 3 3 to 4 it will be 3 and 4 to 5 the value will be 4 this is step function it will come like this and again between 0 0.1 and point, uh, point in negative values minus 0 0.05 the value will be minus 1 so this will be like this the value of y would be minus 1 this term function between minus 1 and minus 2 this will be minus 2 and minus 2 to 3 this will be minus 3 and between minus 3 and 4 the value will always be minus 4 so this is the step function that is a graph of y is equal to greatest integer function x now domain of this function will be real numbers all values you can put and range very important the output will always be integers always be integers and it will be integers from uh, you can say that uh, minus infinity to infinity all integers all integers that will be the range of this function all integers the value will either be 0 
or one or two or three or minus one minus two and minus three so range will be all integers no fractions next is the graph of y is equal to sine x now if x is you can say that zero x zero then y is equal to zero sine zero is zero x 90 that is pi by 2 the value of y that is sine x is 1 at 90 the value of sine x is 1 at again 180 the value is 0 if you put x is equal to pi if x is equal to pi sine pi is 0 so by value of y that is sine x is 0 so this is the graph this is a sine wave or you can say that now you can say that the value always lies between minus 1 and 1 so the very important domain of this uh, always remember the graph of y is equals to sine x it's very important the graph will be like this and domain domain means what are the valid inputs domain means all real numbers minus infinity to infinity you can put anything range very important range will always be between minus 1 and 1 the value of sine x always lies between minus 1 and 1 whatever be the value of x it will always lie between minus 1 and 1. So maximum value of sin x, whatever be the angle, is 1. Minimum value of sin x is minus 1. Next is the graph of y is equals to cos x. This is the graph of y is equals to cos x. Again a wave. You can see that x is equals to 0. Cos 0, you know that this is equals to 1. So value of y will be 1. You can see that the value of y is 1. At pi by 2, and when x is pi by 2, angle is pi by 2 the value of y is your sine pi by 2 is 0 and again you can see that x is equals to 2 pi when you put 2 pi x is equals to 2 pi again the value of y is equals to 1 so this is the graph of y is equals to cos x again domain of this function is all real numbers whatever be the value of x range range is very important this is all again between minus 1 and 1 so value of sin x as well as cos x lies between minus 1 and 1, whatever be the value of x. The minimum value of cos x will be minus 1 and maximum will be plus 1. Next is the graph of line, straight line, 3x plus 4y equals to 12. It's very simple to draw the graph of straight line. Once you have to take x is equal to 0, second you have to take y is equal to 0. If you take x is equal to 0, your y is 3, x 0, y is 3. And when y is 0, x is 4. y is 0, x is 4. You have to join these two points and you will get the straight line. Now this is the straight line that I have drawn. This is the straight line of 3x plus 4y equals to 12. Now in this line, on each and every point, if you put the value of x and y, you will get equals to 12. So this line, entire line, each and every point on this entire line satisfies the equation 3x plus 4y equals to 12. But sometimes question comes like this 3x plus 4y is greater than 12 or let's say 3x plus 4y less than equals to 12. Now 3x plus 4y less than equals to 12 it means uh, which reason will come. The reason will either be below the line or above the line. How to check? Very simple put x origin x is 0 x 0 y 0 x y 0 and 0 always check this origin point does origin satisfies the line check it this 3 into 0 plus 4 into 0 this is equals to 0 which is less than equals to 12 it means that origin satisfies the reason 3x plus 4y less than should be equal less than equals to 12 so it means origin will satisfy this inequality so reason satisfied it means that the entire reason or entire area below the line will be the area of this part 3x plus 4y less than equals to 12 this is my making this brown part this entire area entire area entire area of this this entire area your till infinity this entire area will be the area of that satisfy 3x plus 4y this brown part now sometimes it comes 3x plus 4y greater than 12 3x plus 4y greater than equals to 12 now this will be the area above the line above the line will satisfy 3x plus 4y greater than equals to 12 equals to 12 means the point on the line will also be included 
so that is the how we need to draw the graph either the area will be below the line or above the line best is to check by putting the value of x0 and y0 if origin satisfy it means that uh, you have to you will get the one area otherwise it will be the other area so that was all about this line so that was all about this lesson thank you